Wow, they really stepped it up with this merch. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Like a nice warm hug. These are like very nicely made. The beads are so high quality and it's glow in the dark. So let's see if it, <gasps> see it still works. Timeless. Champagne charms, like champagne problems. This one says last kiss. I could not for the life of me figure out what the heck this acronym is. Look at how cute this is. Well, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nina. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. How's it going? It is October. It is officially 1999 Taylor's version release month. Very exciting stuff. I feel like October is like for the Swifties. It is album release season. Today, I just wanted to go through, and this is a video I've been like kind of planning and thinking about for a while since the Eras tour ended for the US, but it took forever for my friendship bracelet displays to come in the mail, and then there just wasn't a good time. But today, we're gonna do it. I'm doing a full friendship bracelet tour and show you guys some of my favorite bracelets that I traded at the Eras tour this summer. Also, I have a couple merch things to show you guys. I got my Speak Now Taylor's version merch in the mail. Today, I have a pumpkin spice chai and it's very good. This is one of my best drinks I've made. It also has espresso in it, so much fancier than my usual. Okay, to get started, I just wanted to show you guys. I got this in the mail yesterday and I was too excited, so I opened it, but I got the Speak Now baby tea and it's so cute. It has a castle on it with like dragons and everything. Is this the bejeweled? It kind of looks like the bejeweled castle a little bit. On the top it says long live the walls we crashed through. So this is like, I was like wow, they really stepped it up with this merch because I feel like lately the Taylor Swift graphic shirts at least, the designs have not been my favorite, but this one I was very surprised at how minimal and cute and trendy it was. So I'm very excited to wear my Speak Now shirt before it gets cold. It's not like it actually gets cold in California, but you get the idea. Also, my cardigans are here. Me and my sister both got one, and I'm very curious to see how different the Speak Now one is from the original ones. So I'm very excited. This literally came this morning. I heard that the Speak Now cardigan is like slightly different, so I'm curious. Okay, oh, we've got lots of confetti in here. Oh, I'm gonna try not to get it everywhere. Okay, here we are. So I, again, I got medium large. That's what I got for the other cardigans because I like it to be more oversized than like feel a little too small. So we got the medium large. Here we are, let's open this one up. I've literally waited so long for this. When I ordered my folklore cardigan, I again ordered it in July and it didn't come until October. Ordered this in July, didn't come until October. Gotta love it. <gasps> it's like soft. What? I'm obsessed. Oh, this is like so much softer than the folklore and the red Taylor's version. <gasps> oh my God. It's so soft, oh my gosh. This, I can already tell the material is different, like the yarn that they used is different. The knit pattern is the same, but it feels so much softer. I can't even explain to you. We've got the little stars on the sleeves. It's weird because I feel like they appear to be white, but they're actually like a gold shimmery color, but you can't really see in the camera that well, but you can kind of tell that they're more gold. That's so pretty. And when I opened it, immediately I saw this and I thought it was so cute, so pretty. The gold thread, I'm a huge fan. Oh, I don't know. I was like worried that I wasn't gonna like it as much as the other two because I literally live in my other cardigans during the winter. I'm so, 
I'm so excited about this. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go get the other two so we can actually have them side by side and compare. Okay, so here we have the other two cardigans and I feel like these two are very similar in color, how they feel like the same materials. Of course, we have the OG cardigan. This material feels like different. It's not like super, super soft, but it is like thicker. And mine says folklore album on the front of it. I know that when she went to red, they didn't put the Taylor Swift or the title like right on the front of it. So here's the red cardigan. I truly don't feel too much of a difference between this one and the original cardigan. Of course, we have the different colored stars. Um, the buttons are different. The folklore buttons are black. Of course, the red doesn't have the trim. Instead of like red Taylor's version, it just says Taylor Swift and the red font. And then everything else is just plain white cream color. Folklore album. I don't even know if this has the Taylor Swift. This doesn't have a Taylor Swift patch on it but it does have the stars. I can just tell from this one, like they made it so much softer, the yarn. It feels like slightly thinner, but it's, it's like cozier. I don't know how to explain it. And this actually says speak now, which I really like um, because the red one doesn't say red on it. I'm gonna put it on. We'll see, show you how cozy it is. Oh, it feels like a blanket, like a nice warm hug. Oh, I am so happy about this. And I'm also really glad that I got the bigger size because I feel like it's not as oversized as the other cardigans. It feels a little bit more true to size than oversized, but I'm glad I got the bigger one. I am so excited to wear this for the fall. And I'm wondering if there will be a cardigan for 1989. And I don't know because 1989 is not really like a fall winter album like Red was. And I feel like Speak Now to me feels like a winter album. 1989 is kind of like a summer album. So I don't know. But if she did come out with a 1989 cardigan, I would die. Especially if it was like a light blue with seagulls on it. Yeah, I love, I just, this was the best idea she ever had was to come out with these cardigans. I'm obsessed with them because she knew that I needed merch that wasn't so aggressively Taylor Swift. Anyways, that is my little unboxing of the Speak Now cardigan. I will be wearing this until next summer. Now, on to the main event of today's video, which is the friendship bracelets, and I'm so excited about this. I have kind of categorized my bracelets into baggies of which shows they were from. Where? Okay, this is Nashville, Minneapolis. And now I'm trying to figure out if I have my opening night bracelets somewhere in here. Hold please. Okay, they have been located. I think after opening weekend, I didn't have a system for the friendship bracelets, so I just threw them all at the bottom of my friendship bracelet basket of beads. So here they are. Now, for opening weekend, I made like around 50, and that included like me and my two friends. So I think that first weekend, we were still figuring it all out and like what, how people were trading and like if people even like knew to bring bracelets to trade and everything. I have my two light up wristbands from the first weekend and so I didn't have very many that I received from people but we did give away all of our bracelets to people like regardless if they like had some to trade with us or not. So for Arizona, I have these five bracelets. Two of them are from subscribers, which I just like, I feel like I hold those like more dear to me because I loved meeting you guys on tour because then like I had something to give you. I could give you a bracelet, you give me a bracelet and we could always remember each other forever. The first one I got from my subscriber is this one, this purple one. It says Tay, but you can tell she ran out of A's. So the A is a V love to see it. She was the first subscriber I ever met, so I will always remember you. Then next I have one that says mean. This one is just kind of like midnight's themed. This one said this one says midnight's too. It's got like a butterfly and stuff. My favorite one I got was this one and it says so starry and it's glow in the dark. So I thought that was super creative. Love that one. This one just has to be my favorite because of the circumstances. It's a midnight's one. I was like running around, going to the bathroom, getting, you know, just trying to find my friends before the show started. I was like stopped by this dad and his daughter and he told me that she watched my videos and like learned guitar from me. She was so quiet and wanted to trade bracelets with me. And so this was my favorite one I got that weekend because it was really sweet. These are all the bracelets I just, I only got like five from opening weekend. My friends had all the other ones. Then when I went to Nashville, I had gotten more beads. I had made more bracelets. I was making sure that I had more to trade 
trade with everybody. So I did get more from Nashville and let's see, I think I have uh, my bracelets from that weekend, my wristbands, and then I got a lot more and these are like super creative. I feel like it took people a while to kind of get the vibe and then looking on TikTok for how to make like cool bracelets and stuff. This one was one of the first ones I got that weekend. Look how beautiful this is. It's like the beads are so high quality and it has a little disco ball one. So beautifully made, I would buy this. Oh, and so then, this was the rain show so you can imagine how chaotic it was we were just standing in the rain for so long that we were able to trade bracelets with people around us well you're just waiting there you would be like hey do you want your bracelet okay and so this girl had all these like beautiful bracelets and then she explained to me like the meaning behind each one and they're like charm bracelets these are like very nicely made and probably cost a significant amount this one was 1989 themed and has all these cute charms that relate to 1989. There's a shopping bag. There's a little fox. There's an airplane. There's a rabbit for Wonderland. And she just went through the whole thing and like showed me all the different charms and it was so sweet. And then she gave my sister this one, which I think is Evermore themed, Willow. It's got all these like willow tree like charms and stuff. So these are really nice. Like I would wear this with like a nice outfit. You know, super cute. Cowboy like me. I liked this one because the letters are just so big. I haven't found letter beads that are this big. And Cowboy Like Me is a super underrated song. I have two that say Willow, Cardigan, and one that says Daylight, Pretty Colors, Speak Now, Taylor's version because she announced Speak Now the weekend we were in Nashville. And then my very last one and favorite one that I received was from another subscriber, Olivia, and her mom and dad messaged me, emailed me and see, to see if we could meet up after the show. And because it was the rain show, it was like super, super chaotic, but we made it happen at literally like 1.30 in the morning. I met up with her and she gave me this bracelet. It says last kiss because you know that's my favorite song ever that was really sweet that I got to meet her and it was just so nice so so nice those are all my bracelets from Nashville definitely like a step up some like really talented people gave me bracelets and I think over time you just get better at doing it so as time went on I got better and faster at making friendship bracelets so that by the time that it got to the end of June I had made a bunch and I was making them for LA but then as we we know I got the crazy last minute opportunity to fly to Minnesota to go see one of the shows with my friend. I tried to make as many as possible in a shortest amount of time. I think I brought like maybe 40 bracelets so that me and my friend could trade but that show was such a whirlwind and I got to randomly meet a bunch of subscribers which was so fun. So here's my bracelets from Minneapolis night one and here's my bracelet. I put the tab back in so let's see if it oh, See, it still works. I only have like two bracelets that still work, I think. I love it. There was some girl standing outside giving away these keychains for free. Like literally, I traded her a bracelet, but these are like very well made. Like look how cute that is, so sparkly. And it says long live. So shout out to her for giving me and my friend these cute keychains. And then let's just go through. Cause I was I was starting to see people get more creative where they had like um, the like rainbow loom, like stretchy rubber band bracelets. Like that's super cute. It looks very difficult. So this one said mirror ball, the great war. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? I showed this one in the vlog and I could not for the life of me figure out what the heck this acronym is. And then one of you commented on the vlog and said like oh this is what it is it's sparks fly so it starts with D and it says drop everything now meet me in the pouring rain kiss me on the sidewalk take away the pain I I don't think I could have figured that out on my own <laughs> so props to you this one says tea swizzle which I thought was really funny this is another acronym that I couldn't figure out it's I O M W I W Y. I'm, oh, I'm only me when I'm with you. Literally, I can't believe I just figured that out right now. One of the lesser known acronyms in my Swifty vocabulary. Okay, this is super cute. And I think a child gave this to me. I remember like their mom was like, can she trade with you? There's like a bunch of little animals on this one. And it says antihero, 
in these little block letters. It's so cute. And I think the letters are upside down, but that's okay, because super cute. Mine, this one is super cute. I just love some of these beads. I'm like, where are you finding these cute beads? I love the colors. Oh, this one says US Bank Stadium, which I thought was really cute since like, you know, every other one is pretty universal for whichever show, but I like the ones when it's like specific to the show because then it's like a really cute little memento of like, oh yeah, I went all the way to Minnesota to see the concert. This one, I love the colors. It says Cruel Summer and gold letter beads. The gold letter beads, I love them so much. This one says peace, and I feel like it's just kind of funny since it's so brightly colored. Peace. And then lastly, this is my favorite one I received because I got it from this girl. She was so cute. She ran all the way down from the nosebleeds with her dad and took a picture with me. Her outfit was super cute, and she gave me this Speak Now one, and I love these letters. It was just like so cute. And Speak Now is my favorite album, so it was really special. So those are all of my bracelets from Minneapolis. Here's something else. So let's see, when Taylor Swift was at MetLife, I think, that's when she released the Till the Dawn Midnight's edition along with Midnight's Late Night edition and you could only buy that CD at those shows. And so I put out the word to my followers. If any of my followers can grab me an extra copy, I will literally like pay for it, pay for shipping if you could grab one. And so one girl did, she got me one and she shipped it to me. And then she added in a few friendship bracelets and it was so cute. So she gave me a sticker. She sent me these two little stickers, these two friendship bracelets. And I was so stoked about it. This one says TS and it also has the cute little like, clasp on it. And then this one was maroon, which was so cute because that was the surprise song at MetLife. So I was really excited to receive some friendship bracelets. Last but certainly not least, I have my LA friendship bracelets. Now seeing as I went to the show with so many people. We kind of spread out the friendship bracelets among us to, you know, just so I made sure everybody had some to trade and whatnot. This is only a portion of the friendship bracelets that we all received. I was so lucky and blessed enough to go to four out of the six shows on Friday and Saturday we got these big bracelets because they were filming the Eras Tour movie. And so, oh, this one still lights up. <laughs> Literally amazing. So I have two of those and then I have two of the little ones. And so just because this one, I picked up this one first. This is from a subscriber that I met on the Friday night. It says Karen, like Karen the snake from Reputation Tour. And I thought it was so clever. And also like this must have taken so long. Thread, like weaving bracelets, I could never do it. But this is so cute. Joan gave this to me and it was so nice to meet her. She was the first person that came up to me at the LA shows. I think a little girl gave this out. She was giving out little kind of like thread with little like charms on them. So that's a little star. This is super cute. Really sweet that she was giving out like these nice bracelets. And of course I just have a ton of beaded bracelets here let's see there's a few unique ones this one oh my gosh wait i think this was um someone i met on tuesday night it says next chapter so cute and it has like a cute little like adjustable elastic part big fan of this one and then i think i have some of my sisters in here if you guys had seen the vlog she dressed up as justice for me in like a full judge outfit with a wig glasses and a like a sparkly gavel because she absolutely loves the song me from lover so the only bracelets she was giving out were me themed so this one says justice for me and this one says me -e -e, all of the colors so i had a few of those mixed in here this one was really cute it says a long time coming i like this one because it just kind of like captures the vibe you know it's been a long time coming oh this one is funny it says folk lover more and if you were in the fandom during the cancellation of the lover fest on tiktok we had this joke that what is she gonna do after the pandemic ends, is she gonna have a concert and call it Folk Lover More? Here we go. These are really unique beads. This one's, um, this one's You're On Your Own Kid, which I love because that was a surprise song on Saturday. This one's cute. It says Style. <laughs> and this is a bracelet my little cousin made to give away, but I just needed to keep it because it was super cute and really funny. 
it says, Dear John, you're ugly. I'm like, okay, she's gonna bring bracelets, they're gonna be all cute, but then she brings this one and I thought it was so funny. Timeless, timeless, my favorite vault song from Speak Now. This one's cute, oh, this is super cute. There was a girl that I met when I was in the standing section on the Tuesday that gave me like two or three different bracelets and she's like, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited I'm getting to give these to you. I'm literally dropping bracelets all over the place. Oh, oh, here it is. Yes. <laughs> okay, this one says dog, and as you can see, it's green, like from Last Great American Dynasty, and has a cute little paw print charm. And then she she gave me like three. This one says the lucky one, and it has a little like four leaf clover. And then this one says new romantics. She was so sweet. Thank you for these. I love them. August lover. I'm just I just love seeing the different color schemes everyone comes up with. I think it's so fun. This one says I heart TS and it's got rainbow. This one says daylight and it glows in the dark. I just I literally can't get enough of these bracelets. Folklore evermore. I'm on the bleachers. Oh my gosh, on Saturday when I was dressed up as the cheerleader Taylor from Shake It Off, I had like three different times people would run up to me and be like, I need to give you this bracelet because it goes with your outfit. And there was a few girls that had these like themed ones specifically for the cheerleader outfit or whatever. Oh, it was this one. This girl literally like ran up to me. It says cheerleader and it has the colors of the outfit on it. She's like, I just need to give this to you because it goes so well with your outfit. So thanks girl. That was so cute. And then this one says shake it off and it has the same color scheme. This one is beautiful as well. It says our song blank space with the pearls. Midnight's fearless. We're almost to the end of it here. Oh, this one's beautiful. This one says daylight and it's like this beautiful pink yellow combination and gold key lime green one with a little like lime slice. So fun. Lover. And then we're getting down to some of my favorites. We have a few left here. This one is super cute. It says speak now and it has this butterfly. This one was super cute. I know I say that about literally every single one that I've showed you guys, but it says karma and it looks kind of like a serious killer note like the sizes of the letters are all different and then it has this little charm of a cat like karma is a cat I thought that was super clever and these were just immaculate it says problems with little champagne charms like champagne problems and this one is the same thing it says problems and it has the champagne glasses on it and then lastly I got this one from a subscriber again and she, as soon as she came up to me she gave me this one she's like I know last kiss is your favorite this one says last kiss Okay, la I feel like I need to say this because this one's just so funny. I dropped it on the floor, so I didn't see this one, but we were talking with like a Swifty mom. It seemed like she was just kind of like walking around the concessions area and she was trading bracelets and just chatting. And she saw me taking a picture with a subscriber. And so she's like, I want to take a picture with you. I doubt she knew who I was at all. And then she gave me this bracelet. It said sweet nothing. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that song. And then I look closer and it says sweet nothing Joe. I was like, oh, and she's like, yeah, I don't know if you want it, but I thought it was funny. It just seemed like she took part in the making of the bracelets and she thought it would be funny to put Sweet Nothing Joe on a bracelet, even though she knows that they broke up. So I just thought that was really just something funny that happened. That is all the bracelets that I have. I've showed you every single bracelet. I wasn't sure I was gonna do that, but here we are. Part two of this video is going to be showing you guys how I'm going to display the bracelets because I have so many. I bought a few little display pieces that are going to organize them a little bit better. So first things first, I went on Amazon and I found a translucent birdhouse. I know a lot of people found these at Target, but by the time I went to Target, they didn't have them anymore. And so I was trying to find, figure out like what's the next best thing for this. I went to the comments of this listing of this birdhouse on Amazon and every single person was using it to display their friendship bracelets. So here we have the house and it has two little trays in it. So I'm thinking about, you know, organizing my bracelets between the two trays. So we have this, but in order to turn it into the lover house, you need to print out a picture of the lover house. And I don't have a printer, so it took me a while to get these printed out. And so basically what I'm gonna do is cut it out and tape it or glue it to the back of the house so that you can see it's like a lover house. So I'm gonna cut this out.
Okay, so here we have it cut out. And as I was cutting this out, I was thinking when the music video for Lover came out and we had the Lover house, was Taylor thinking intentionally making the rooms themed to each album? Because she has not confirmed nor denied it, but if you look at the Eras tour, she definitely like, you know, she uses the Lover house as part of the Lover set. And then when it transitions to Fearless, this room lights up and it comes forward and it's like the fearless room. So it's like maybe not Folklore and Evermore because obviously we didn't know these two existed before, but like the actual rooms, I feel like Taylor doesn't do anything unintentionally and it's a perfect fit. So it seems that I've overlooked the very important detail of having tape to tape the paper to the back of it. But other than that, it looks pretty good. I'm surprised I was able to size this on the computer without like actually measuring it. So it fits pretty well. So this is just gonna have to work for right now. If I put it up against something, it looks good. And here's the, lover, the other lover house, the big lover house, still in place. And the other display that I got for some of my favorite bracelets are the hand hearts. I got this on Amazon. I will link both of these things below if you guys want to get one for yourself. But essentially this was super cute, but it only can hold like a certain amount of bracelets. So I'm just gonna put my favorites on this one and put all the rest in the birdhouse lover house. Getting these on here is way harder than it looks. <laughs> but look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Okay. I'll probably add a few more to this side, but wow, look at how cute this is. Okay, so there you have it, my friendship bracelet tour and display. I know that I've said this before, but I really do want to trade bracelets with all of you like through mail or something. So I am working on getting a PO box and then I'm gonna just like have you guys send me bracelets and then I'll have you guys like DM me your address, shipping address, and I'll try to like send bracelets to all of you. Especially if you didn't get to go, we can still trade bracelets. And so um, stay tuned for more info about that. But thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.